What's going on? It's Coach Kyle here from Colossus Fitness walking you through how to lose fat fast. Let's jump right into it. So typically speaking, it's not usually the approach that I recommend. I don't usually recommend going out doing it super quickly, trying to lose as much as possible in a short time frame. However, I have seen a lot of different circumstances where it does make sense and depending on the person and what you're striving for, it may just make the most sense for you to get it done quickly and then focus on what's next afterwards. Now, two reasons I'd say that losing it super quickly, fast, like having a quick deadline, it makes sense is when you in fact do have a quick deadline. This could be a vacation, it could be a wedding, it could be some sort of special event where you have a very short time frame and you just need to get the weight off quickly and you'll worry about what happens afterwards. And number two is just simply momentum. A lot of times people just need to see the results in order to buy in, in order to start to see, want to put in more work going forward. They see that weight come off, they're like, okay, I'm fully committed. Whereas when you do it a bit slower, it can be a bit more demotivating and that's where a lot of people do give up. However, I did want to start off by warning you that there are a lot of issues that take place when you lose weight really quickly, such as rapid gain, weight gain afterwards, and it's just very unsustainable. And a lot of times people do lose weight and then put even more back on afterwards. So while these tips are absolutely fantastic, it is very important to have an approach afterwards to know what to do after the diet and after you lose all this weight, especially if it's super quickly. Now with that, I do typically recommend losing about one to 1.5 pounds per week. This is a nice solid deficit. It's not too challenging and it's usually pretty sustainable where you don't lose too much muscle mass. However, in the case where we're trying to lose it really quickly, you do want to lose about two pounds per week or even more. Now where it gets really challenging is you do have to be in a heavy calorie deficit. So let's just say one person is at about 3000 calories for maintenance. This is the point, let's just say for me, where I don't gain weight or I don't lose weight. If I already eat 3000 calories, I'm at maintenance and I never go up and down. I would have to be eating about 2000 calories or even slightly less to get towards this goal. So of course there will be a lot of challenges that take place. You're gonna have to cut out a lot of unhealthier foods. You're gonna have to get your protein up super high. You will be quite hungry for the most part as well. And just simply put, to get to that deficit, if you're at about a thousand calorie deficit per day, that equals 7,000 calories within the week, which translates over to two pounds loss because each pound loss is about 3,500 calories. So that's where you'd be at. So it is a pretty heavy deficit. It will be challenging, but that will lead to you losing two pounds per week. And let's say you do have 10 weeks, that'd be about 20 pounds as well. And that's gonna be tip number one. Number two, something that's very often overlooked is just strength training at least four times per week. A lot of people forget about this part because they don't realize how important it is. They see number three as a very important thing and number one, which is just eating less, but they end up losing a lot of muscle mass. Now, I know a lot of you have worked very hard over the years to build up muscle mass, to boost your metabolism, to do all these incredible things, and we don't want that to go to waste. So with that, when it comes to losing fat fast, we want to make sure that you look as best as you physically can. And that's gonna be maintaining as much muscle mass as possible. So let's say two people, they happen to lose 20 pounds each. Person one doesn't strength train, does endless cardio and is a massive deficit. Let's say they lose half of it in muscle and half of it in fat. So 10 pounds of muscle and 10 pounds of fat they lose. They may not be too happy with that um, and they haven't been strength training. This person here does everything they can to put on as much muscle mass or at least maintain it. So they lose about three to five pounds of muscle and then 15 to 17 pounds of fat. They're gonna be in a much better spot because even though they both lost 20 pounds, the person who loses less muscle is gonna be looking more tight, more toned, the muscles are gonna be popping and long-term it's just a better approach. So that's why strength training, resistance training at least four times a week is super important because your muscles will just pop a lot more for the lack of a better term. And uh, it's just, it's so, such a better long-term approach. And number three, I just wanted to put more movements. This can be absolutely anything. It could be cardio. It could just be simply having a step goal. This will allow you to be in a bigger deficit and it makes this tip number one a lot easier. So in order to be in a bigger deficit, obviously you can either eat less 
or you can move more, or you can do both, which just makes it faster and also it allows you to eat slightly more as well. So I do recommend just being over 10,000 steps per day. This is gonna be different for each person, but I do find if you get out walking at least 45 minutes per day, and then also involve yourself in some sort of sports, um, if, if you don't enjoy it, that's totally fine. You can use a treadmill, you can use elliptical. I'm a big sports person, so that's why I do recommend it. But I do like sports because it just allows time to pass by quicker and it doesn't feel daunting or anything crazy there. So once again, getting more movement in will help speed up the process. It's very important though not to eat all those calories back. I know a lot of times people will go out on runs and they'll do endless cardio and then they'll end up bringing their calories up a ton because my fitness pal says or because they're super hungry. And this is gonna make it challenging because yes, you started moving more, but then you started eating more and that's just gonna defeat the purpose of the calorie deficit. Now tip number four, often overlooked, a lot of people struggle with this, is just be insanely consistent. I'm talking every single day. You have to be on it, especially if you have a short time frame and it's just something you need to get done quickly. You don't have room for errors. You know, if someone has, let's say, 16 weeks to get ready for a photo shoot or an event or competition or whatever it is you want to do, a 16 week cut, there is room for variables and just obstacles. Whereas, depending on the time frame you have, whether it's two weeks, four weeks, six weeks, whatever it is, you don't really have room for errors. And I find a lot of times people struggle with this because what they end up doing is pretty unsustainable. So you can only do it for a short amount of time. So let's say Monday to Friday, you're super perfect, you're dialed in, your calories are super low. Then Saturday and Sunday, you have cheat meals, you go out to the cottage, you do all these different things. And Monday, you have to start over again. Well, that week effectively wasn't exactly the best week of progress because the weekend you were super horrible. And a lot of times this happens not just for the weekend, but also for certain weeks. You know, one week is awesome. You're dialed in, you packed everything. And then the next week things happen and you don't, you don't then go grocery shopping. You don't have your meals prepped. And then you're like, oh, I'll start next week. So you don't have room for that. You have to be ultra consistent. You have to be dialed in every single day. You have to make count because if it doesn't, it's gonna take you out of that deficit. You're gonna be one day behind. So once again, consistency is super, super important for this. Last but not least, another underrated tip is just overall accountability. It is very hard to do this whole fitness thing, especially when you have a full-time job, you have a lot on the go, family things, social things. It's challenging, especially when you don't know what the next best step is. Um, so overall, in terms of just having accountability, I would just start off by saying, letting people know in your circle, your friend group, your family, hey, I've got this really important goal. I'm gonna go all in. I might have to skip out on these parts of the, the meals that we usually have and these fun times that we're usually you know, having together and we might have to go for a walk. We might have to go for a hike. Like, let's go play some beach volleyball. Like, you don't, life doesn't have to suck during this time frame, but if you are someone who's really looking to do it super, super quick, like you will definitely have to make a lot of sacrifices, but the most important thing is letting the people know around you what's going on because you've got this really great goal and you wanna just, you know, you have this time frame to, to lose this weight and also once again, to keep it off. But overall accountability is huge, letting those people know. And even for us, we've helped over 4,000 people. Um, once again, I do recommend doing it a little bit slower in approach where it's just more sustainable. However, I've had tons of people with vacations, weddings, all this different stuff take place and we've got a short time frame, So we've just got to dial in and go all in. So having that coach by your side is absolutely game changing. And I'd love to help. I've helped over 4,000 people likely in your exact situation, just wanting to lose weight, wanting to do it quickly, wanting to just lose it for good. And I'm happy to take care of you. So we are actually running a challenge that's going to be taking place. Uh, it starts on September 9th, which is amazing. And it's gonna be 60 days for thousand dollars worth of prizes, unlimited accountability, a game plan for you based off your situation, nutritional protocols, um, everything that you could ever ask for, workout routine, weekly check-ins, unlimited support if I haven't already said that. And all you have to do is just fill out the first link down below. It's an application, it should just take a few minutes, but I'd be happy to help you out because once again, doing this by yourself can be very challenging. I guarantee my results, so there's no risk involved and I'd love to help you out. But number six, this is a bonus one I don't have on here. It's just having a game plan afterwards. I know I talked about this at the start of the video, but it is so underrated. So many people have a short-term goal. They wanna get ready for that wedding. And then whatever happens afterwards, they don't care. They have the honeymoon. They don't really know what's going on after. They don't have a reverse dieting approach. And then once you start bringing your calories back up and then even slight, if you start moving a little bit less, it is so easy to gain all the weight back and so much more. 
So simply put, having a game plan is so, so important. And I can't stress it enough because the amount of people I've seen lose, let's lose, let's say 20 pounds and then gain 20 to 25 on after, it's just an insane amount of people. And there have been some studies done, especially Lane Norton mentioned this a long time ago, where we don't actually have a weight loss problem, we have a weight regain problem. And over 80% of people who lose weight end up putting it back on, and a good chunk of people actually put it even more back on afterwards, which is uh, a pretty sad statistic. So once again, have that game plan. It always helps having the accountability as well because we've done it with so many people so we can help you out as well. So that's all I have for you. If you like this video, please smash that like button. I really appreciate you spending time with me today. Hopefully this is going to help you. Once again, it's not rocket science, but these things done properly will make such a big difference. And if you're looking to lose weight and it's not, look, you don't have to be super fast with it. You would just scale these things back a bit. You would have a deficit, but not as big of a deficit. You strength train, maybe not as much strength training. Although I do think still four times is a great amount. You may move a lot, but not as much. And these things still will help you lose weight and keep it off for the long run. So thank you so much. And we'll see you in the next video. Peace and love always.